This morning, in fact, was another significant step toward justice for Indigenous women in Canada. For too long, Indigenous women and girls have experienced violence at a rate that is staggering when compared to non-Indigenous women. Just over a month after forming government, we announced the creation of a national inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls following the recommendation of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. An inquiry that we launched based on the steadfast advocacy of families and survivors. We promised Canadians that we would start this process, a process that would ultimately chart a path for the future. Earlier this morning, the National Inquiry formally presented their final report in which they found that the tragic violence that Indigenous women and girls have experienced amounts to genocide. The strength of the families and survivors who bravely shared their truths have show, has shown us the way forward. We will do a thorough review of this report and develop and implement a national action plan to address violence against Indigenous women, girls, and LGBTQ and Two-Spirit people. Working with Indigenous partners to determine next steps, we will include Indigenous women and girls, the voices of LGBTQ and Two-Spirit people, and family members and survivors. Our country can and must do better, and we will. Mes amis, il reste beaucoup de travail à faire. Les femmes sont plus susceptibles que les hommes d'être victimes de violences et de vivre dans la pauvreté. Les femmes gagnent moins que les hommes pour le même travail. Partout dans le monde, des filles se battent encore pour leur droit d'aller à l'école. Des femmes meurent à la suite de maladies qu'on peut guérir. Et encore aujourd'hui, le droit fondamental d'une femme de choisir ce qu'elle veut faire de son propre corps est remis en question. Ce sont des défis majeurs auxquels les femmes sont encore confrontées. Des défis majeurs qui ne vont pas disparaître tout seuls. Si on veut du changement, on doit l'exiger.